as an African woman who is just right now in the process of transitioning from healing from a very, very abusive past, pain, suffering, neediness, desperation into the other side of happy life, abundance, wealth, success. I want to share with you a few practical tips that I am learning from these women who are just right now opening their hearts and their doors to me. They knew me all along, but they are just now letting me into their lives. Okay, ladies, um, I recently had two experiences, one with a woman in Karen and another one with a woman in Runda. So now the Runda woman hosted me for a week. She's very, very, very talkative. And the woman in Karen allowed me to shoot a music video inside her house. It's amazing, like, this woman is a millionaire. Okay, so the one thing that I have seen in common between the Runda woman and the Karen woman is that both of these women, they wake up very early in the morning, like at three in the morning, they're up. And when they wake up, they pray. They rely very, very heavily on their beliefs and on God to carry them through the day. And I'm like, these women are so healthy, like, why do they need God? Okay, that is just like, it amazed me and it blew up my mind. Yeah, the, 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 both of these women, they pray like crazy, like, like the current woman was telling me that mercy, there is always like some kind of evil spirit that is trying to cause you um, an accident, anything, and she's constantly praying and binding anything formed against her, her family, her children. And the, the, the Runda woman was just telling me, mercy, 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 you have a bright future, but you have to seek God, like seriously seek God. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, I have found success before, actually three times, and I lost it all. Because honestly, I was raised up in the church, but uh, I diverted for several reasons, yeah? Um, doesn't mean that everybody needs to go to church. Everybody have their own beliefs, you know. There are people that are Christians, Muslims, Jewish, whatever, 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 whatever. Um, I lost everything. I lost everything. You know, I got this opportunity I got to go to America. And I lost it. And I got deported in the most humiliating way. Naked. I then had this online business in Nairobi and Mombasa. Again, lost it all in the most humiliating, baddest way. And then I got another opportunity to open this big bar and restaurant where Kenyans actually contributed money to me. And I lost it again because I was not relying on the guidance and spiritual, and, and uh, I wasn't relying on God's guidance. Uh, whoever your God is, whatever you believe in, you need to depend heavily on that. That's why some people go to witchcrafts, you know, because that is what they believe in. Either way, you need something you believe in. I don't care what you believe in. I'm not here to preach to you. But I'm just, I just want to tell you that you have to find something that you believe in. Whatever you believe in. For me, I believe in God. But maybe you believe in whatever. Yeah? You have to depend on that for power because life is actually spiritual. Uh, life is not like you see it. Yeah, you believe in the universe. You believe in whatever you believe in. You have to depend heavily on that so that your life can give you a breakthrough. The second thing that I'm learning is that all these women, they have stories. They have amazing stories. And their faith carried them through. The woman in Rwanda was telling me her story and she was saying that when she was still a very young lady, she, she has one of these big professions that we all admire, I'm not going to mention which profession it is. When she was a very young lady who did not even have transport to take her from her estate to Nairobi town, she was already claiming that she owns a house in Rwanda. And now 
she owns a house in Rwanda. You know, uh, you have the mind is the most powerful tool that you can use to change your life around. I feel, I feel, I feel this because I've struggled for nearly twenty years to accomplish success, and every time it comes, I lose it, or every time like it seems like nothing is working. But this time, I finally feel at peace, and I finally feel at home. And just, it is amazing just because after I feel at home, now everything is just coming together. I'm still in the process, and that's why, oh my God, I want to cry when I share with you guys. Like, so far I have gotten about five people that are willing, even this morning I woke up to another, yet another one, that are willing to invest money in my business. And you know, when I was doing all those, I, I, I never found anybody that was willing to do that. So the first thing that you have to do is to heal. Heal emotionally, heal physically. And we are offering free training for healing. It is absolutely free of charge. If you want to go through this therapy mindset training to change your mindset from poverty to, to heal from your pain and suffering, I will actually offer you a spot for free in our class. Right now, the classes are almost over, but I will make sure that you get all the learning material that we have been using for the past one month. Okay, so the first thing you have to do is to heal. And I'm talking to you like my sister. I'm talking to you like soul to soul, like from literally from my heart, because nobody has suffered like me. Oh my God. Okay. And finally, I'm feeling like I'm getting healed. And then the next thing that you have to do is move. Is move. You know, I read on TikTok that there was a Chinese African exposition in Nairobi. I read on TikTok, okay? And I was like, why not? You know, somebody had posted on TikTok that they are, they, 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 the Chinese manufacturers, the ones you see on Alibaba, they are all in Nairobi. They have so many big opportunities. Go check them out. Now, I went to that. If I had not gone to that, I would not be having the opportunity that I'm having today, okay? I, I left my house and I went to that exposition and I was like, why not? Let me go check it out. And let me tell you the difference between Chinese people and the other people that I don't want to mention is that they were actually looking for business partners. They value us and they see us as human beings. Like since I started working with this Chinese company, I haven't felt like I am black. You know, in other places where I lived, you guys know, I was called a monkey several times. The Chinese company, they have not called me a monkey. They value me, they respect me, and, oh my God, I don't know. I don't want to cry because I don't want TikTok to ban my account. But you guys, I am having the best life experience of my life working with this Chinese company. They respect me, they value me, they sacrifice for me, they ensure that they support me and they give me everything that I need as soon as possible. Like, this CEO of this company will literally stay up so late to make sure that Mercy has what she needs. She's providing me with all the training materials that I need to train the other women to work in the organic beauty industry. He's providing me with uniforms. He's providing me with, with chats and, and, and backdrops and, uh, and uh, tablecloths and, and t-shirts. Like, literally, and he's doing this for free. Yes, I said it, yes. He is doing, his, like, he's going one million extra miles for me for free. Because I did something, because I moved, because I got up from bed and I went to seek an opportunity. So ladies, as you try to break through to your success, do not, please, do not sit where you are sitting. Get up and go. Get up and go find the opportunity. And maybe God will give you a breakthrough. I really feel for you ladies that are going through it right now. And as much as I can, I want to hold your hands. But I'm not hiding right now for salary. However, if you want to sell my products and earn commissions, you're welcome. That is, we have to switch our minds around if we want success. We have to heal from the inside out. And we have to take care of yourselves and your body. By the way, I just registered in a gym also. So I'm doing also exercise to help me to heal. Thank you, ladies. And I wish you a beautiful morning.